What is going on, Sooner Nation? It's been a crazy past couple of weeks in the post-Ted Roof era for the Oklahoma Sooners. But today, Zach Alley has been officially announced as the new co-defensive coordinator for the Oklahoma Sooners. And we got to talk about this, break it down, talk about why it's good hire and what you all should expect here. Guys, if you haven't already, thank you for tuning into the PG show where we talk about all things college football. We got some big news coming up. So not only do you want to hit the like button for this video, but for the 67% of you guys that continue to watch my videos and aren't subscribed, do me a favor, make sure you're subscribed. It really helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, uh, join the discussion. Let me know what you guys are thinking about the new co-defensive coordinator, Zach Alley, and linebackers coach. So Oklahoma, they moved on from Ted Roof, and I know a lot of Oklahoma fans were excited about that. But one, I don't think a lot of Oklahoma fans understand the impact that that might have on the recruiting trail because Ted Roof was actually a pretty dang good recruiter, and he had some really good relationships with a lot of kids, and he knew a lot of coaches across high school, right? So he was able to get his way in. And although BV offered him a spot to stay here with Oklahoma, uh, he wanted to stay in an on-field role, right? So you understand that. So Ted Roof, you know, he's out there looking for another job. And it wouldn't shock me to see him one day end up back on the staff with Brent Venables. But right now he's going to go do his own thing. So Venables goes out here and he hires Zach Alley as a co-DC and a linebackers coach, right? So what does this mean? Like, who is Zach Alley? And we've talked about it before, right? Zach Alley was a guy that was with Brent Venables at Clemson. He was a student assistant from 2011 to 2014. From 2015 to 2018, he was a graduate assistant. So then in 2019, he went to go be the inside linebackers coach at Boise State, then moved to the outside linebackers coach in 2020. And in 2021, he became the defensive coordinator and linebackers coach at Louisiana Monroe. And then in 2022 to 2023, he has been the DC at Jacksonville State, where he is touted one of the best defenses in college football. And now he's going to be the co DC and linebackers coach at Oklahoma. So only 30 years old or 29 years old, something like that, right? I, I, it's hard to figure out exactly how old this guy is. Uh, Zach Alley is a young dude. He is a bright future ahead of him. When you looked at coaches, rising stars amongst college football, Zach Alley's name was thrown around. And I just want people to understand this. Uh, I don't expect Oklahoma's offense to take a step back in terms of how quickly it runs. I do think Seth Luttrell and Joe John Finley are going to try to find that sweet spot to where they don't have to go a million miles a minute. I think they're going to try to say, okay, like, we can speed up the offense when we want to, but we're also going to try to control time of possession. The good news is Zach Alley's defense at Jacksonville State complemented an offense that is very similar to Oklahoma's, meaning Jacksonville State's offense, they like to move fast. So with the high-tempo offense, knowing that Zach Alley was able to put up a 33-ranked total defense in the country, only allowing 212 or uh, it was 33 scoring defense per game, only allowing 21.2 points per game, 43rd in total defense, only allowing 352.8 yards per game. Knowing that he was able to put up that kind of defense with a high tempo offense, that should make an Oklahoma fan feel good because I feel like that's the one thing that we have really been missing is a defense that can go in there and, you know, play that high level style of defense with the offense going out there and putting you on the field for more snaps than an average defense. So Zach Alley is going to have a lot of tools to work with this year, and it's going to be a pivotal season for him, right? He's going to have a defense that is a lot of the guys have have over 4,000 snaps last year, including key seniors like Billy Bowman, Woody Washington, DeJon Terry. And of course, one crucial guy in his own position room, Danny Stutzman. So I look at this and say, you're going to have a butt kiss, an early butt kiss finalist. You're going to have a, hopefully a Jim Thorpe award finalist on your team. And dare I say, Woody Washington might contend for an award too. And not to mention, he's got David Stone, Jaden Jackson, Nigel Smith. He's got a ton of talent on this defense. And you would imagine if he was able to do what he did at Jacksonville state with the little that he had, he comes to Oklahoma has this better talent, has the resources. 
he might be able to turn out a better defense. Now, I want Oklahoma fans to dial it back in. I don't expect the run defense to get worse. I expect the rush defense to be about where it was last year. So you're probably going to you're probably going to average letting up about 100 to 125 yards a game. I'm really curious to see what Zach Alley is going to be able to do when it comes to the pass game. What did we talk about all year long this year that killed Oklahoma on defense? Zone coverage, right? They played well and man, when they went to zone coverage, they got beat. I'm curious to see how Zach Alley is going to be able to come in and help Brandon Hall and Jay Valai be able to figure that out and how he's going to be able to help some of these linebackers be able to develop. And, you know, I think one question we've all been asking is, who's going to take that jump this year that Danny Stutzman took this past season? Is it going to be a Jaron Kanick? Is it going to be a Kemp Lewis, a Kobe McKenzie, right? Or is it going to be one of the newer guys? Samuel Masigo, Lewis Carter, Phil Picciotti. You've got Connor Neer in that room. You know, who's going to be the next guy to take that next step up? And I think a lot of people want it to be Jaron Kanick because the dude's an absolute monster and a freak on the field. And when he's out on the field with Danny Stutzman, like, the dude's absolutely talented. So that remains to be seen. The jury's still out on that, but... I look at this Zach Alley hire, guys, and I think it's a really, really good hire. I think it's one that a lot of Oklahoma fans should be paying attention to, and they should be saying, uh, yeah, I think Zach Alley is going to be able to come in here, and he's going to be able to make Oklahoma a top 25 defense. And remember, we're heading into BV's third season. It took him about three seasons to get the defense where he wanted it at Clemson. Just want everybody to keep that in mind. And you saw the improvement that it made this past season. I mean, Oklahoma was a bend, don't break type team. When the teams got into the red zone, they were holding people. Uh, it was mainly just, they were giving up again, big chunk plays like they did uh, in BV's first season. So people might ask, well, what does the code DC role mean? Because there's a lot of coaches on this team that have the code DC. Who's calling the plays? Zach Alley will be calling the plays on the defensive side of the ball. Just like Seth Latrell will be calling the plays on the offensive side of the ball. Right. And then you're going to have BV being able to override either one of the play calling decisions made by one of those coordinators. So that's kind of what that code DC role means. Uh, but it just kind of gives Zach Alley another title, one for pay. But two, you know, when he goes to be able to go on recruiting, which we really haven't talked about yet, uh, you know, you get to say, hey, like the Oklahoma's co-defensive coordinator, play caller, and linebackers coach came in, right? And he gets to kind of help explain that defense a little bit more in detail. So I think you're going to see Zach Alley uh, involved in a little bit more of these defensive recruitments. And, you know, one thing that I'm really interested to see is, is Zach Alley going to be able to help us close the deal on some of the recruitments on linebackers that we haven't been able to close because of maybe there was an age gap? I'm talking like an Anthony Hill Jr., Although he went to Texas, guys, Oklahoma was number two in that race. Then you got Sammy Brown. Oklahoma fell short to uh, Georgia out there. Uh, we didn't go after Justin Williams, but let's say we went after five-star Justin Williams this year. Maybe we end up keeping Joseph Jonah Ajonye, who ended up really liking Oklahoma. But, you know, Georgia just, you know, they made a big push there. And then Peyton Pierce, right? Ended up at Ohio State. A lot of Oklahoma fans wanted him. BV really wanted this guy. So you got to ask if Zach Alley's age is going to be able to play a factor here. And now he's got the name on the chest, right? He's going to be able to walk through the door, and it's Oklahoma. It ain't Jacksonville State. And he's going to bring a lot of Southeast connections in, especially from that area. So, hey, OU, OU, OU fans, this is a great hire. This is one that I think you guys should be excited about. I think this is one over the next couple of years we look back on, and especially if Oklahoma wins a national championship, you're looking at Zach Alley potentially getting head coaching nods. That's how serious we're talking. So, guys, I want to hear from you. I want to hear what your guys' conversations are. So make sure you're jumping down in the comments, letting me know what you guys think about the Zach Alley hire. Additionally, if you have not already, hit that like and hit that subscribe button.